Today, we are going to look at the Armed Forces Medical College in Pune or shortly known as AFMC Pune. I will explain the number of seats, reservation system, application process, selection procedure, qualifying marks and other relevant details regarding AFMC Pune. By the end of this video, you should be able to understand why you should study MBBS at AFMC Pune and how to get admission at AFMC. Come, let us travel to Pune. Stay with me till the end of this video. Welcome to another video from Just Get MBBS. This time on the topic, how to get admission in AFMC Pune. I am Manike Velarmugam. I am a blogger and a keen follower of medical admissions in India for many years. Follow me at my Twitter handle Just Get MBBS to get regular updates about medical admission. In this video, I am going to cover the following topics related to AFMC Pune. Introduction, number of seats available, eligibility, reservation system, application and selection procedure, qualifying marks from 2014 to 2019, service liability and what are the benefits of studying at AFMC. Now let's start with some introduction about AFMC Pune. AFMC Pune is a premier medical institute of India. The college is a center of excellence for medical education and research. It was initially established in the year 1948 for postgraduate courses. The graduate wing for the MBBS course was started in 1962. The college provides training to undergraduate and postgraduate medical and nursing students with assured career prospects in the defense services. AFMC has been consistently rated among the top three medical colleges in India. Outlook India in its ranking has placed AFMC Pune at second place and India today has given it the third rank. In a recent video done by me in which I have listed the top 10 medical colleges in India, I have placed AFMC Pune at number 3 in the ranking. If you are interested to see that video, I have given the link to the video in the description below. Do check out. The college is fully residential and stay in the hostel is compulsory for all medical cadets. Now let us look at the number of seats offered by AFMC Pune. The yearly intake at AFMC is 150 students for MBBS course. The breakup of the seats is as follows. 115 seats goes to boys, 30 seats go to girls. And there are five seats that goes to government sponsored candidates from friendly foreign countries. So a total of 150 candidates will be selected as medical cadets to the MBBS course. What is the eligibility to join MBBS at AFMC? A candidate should be a citizen of India. Foreign nationals of Indian origin may be admitted only after they have acquired Indian citizenship or if they get a certificate of eligibility from the Ministry of Home Affairs. However, this condition does not apply to the government sponsored candidates from friendly foreign countries. The candidate must be unmarried. Marriage during the course is not permitted. The candidate should have attained the age of 17 years on 31st December of the year of admission but must not have attained the age of 24 years on that day. Candidates must have passed the qualifying exam in the first attempt with English, Physics, Chemistry and Biology taken simultaneously. The candidate should have secured not less than 60% of the aggregate marks in the three science subjects taken together. The marks should not be less than 50% in English 
and not less than 50% in each of the science subjects. For the complete details about the eligibility requirements, I suggest you to refer to the AFMC information brochure. Now let's look at the reservation system used by AFMC Pune. 10 seats are reserved for candidates belonging to the scheduled cars or scheduled tribes. To avail the reservation benefit, the candidate must fulfill all other conditions or standards as applicable to a non-SC ST candidate. For example, like age eligibility, academic qualification, medical fitness, etc. There is no relaxation in any of the requirements for SCST candidates. They also must come within the first 500 ranks in the final combined merit list of boys and girls. Now let's go into the selection process. AFMC is the only college that has two stages of selection process. After the introduction of NEET, every college now has only NEET as the qualifying criteria. That is the only criteria for admission to any medical college within India. The only exception is AFMC Pune. They have additional selection procedure which we will go through shortly. The stage 1 selection process. You have to qualify the NEET UG examination conducted by the National Testing Agency. Subsequent to the release of NEET results, you have to register on MCC or Medical Counseling Committee website and opt for AFMC Pune. Visit mcc.nic.in for registration. No separate registration is required at the AFMC College website. After the last date of registration, either MCC or AFMC will publish a list of shortlisted candidates. That is from the candidates who applied to MCC and who has opted for AFMC, there will be a shortlisting based on the needs score. The shortlisted candidates will be approximately about 1800 candidates with about 1200 boys and about 600 girls. The shortlisted candidates will be called for further screening to be held at AFMC Pune. The shortlisted candidates should confirm their attendance for the screening process at AFMC by sending an email mentioning their NEET UG roll number and NEET score. The exact email ID to which you need to send the confirmation will be provided by AFMC at the time of publishing the shortlisted candidates. Now let's look at the stage 2 of the selection process. The stage 2 selection process will be held at AFMC campus Pune. AFMC Pune looks for leadership qualities, effective communication skills and excellent physical standards while selecting their candidates. The selection process includes the following. Identification and verification of documents. Test of English language comprehension, logic and reasoning. Psychological assessment test, interview and medical examination. TOELR is a computer based MCQ that is multiple choice questions test consisting of 40 questions. Each correct response gets you 2 marks while a wrong answer will get 0.5 negative marks. The duration of the test is 30 minutes. So in 30 minutes you need to finish the 40 questions. The test is conducted for a total of 80 marks. The psychological assessment and interview will be conducted for 50 marks. Candidates are selected based on their combined performance in NEET UG, TOELR, PAT and interview. Your performance in these four areas will be taken into account. There will be different weightages for each of the performance. I will tell you what is the exact weightage. The marks obtained in NEET UG will be divided by four to get you a score out of 180 marks. 
the marks obtained by you in the test of english language will be divided by 4 to get your toelr score out of 20 marks add these two scores to the score obtained in the interview which is for 50 marks so neat ug has a weightage of 180 marks the test of english language has a weightage of 20 marks and the interview has a weightage of 50 marks totally you will be assessed for 250 marks let us say for example if your candidate has a need score of 600 marks and has scored 60 marks in the test of english language and 30 marks in the interview then his final score will be 150 for neat 15 marks for the test of english language and 30 marks for the interview so if you add these three together you will get 195 marks out of 250 marks the final merit list will be based on this total score obtained out of 250 marks by each candidate separate merit lists will be displayed for boys and girls Qualifying marks from 2014 onwards. You can see the qualifying marks for AFMC Pune in the past six years. 2014 and 2015 represents APMT score, that is the All India Pre Medical Test score. From 2016 onwards, when NEET was introduced, the subsequent years, the score represents the NEET score. So this is the score at which the candidates get shortlisted for the screening process at AFMC Pune. We do not know exactly what is the score of the candidate who gets selected, but these are the scores at which the candidates get shortlisted. You can see here the qualifying marks has considerably increased in the last few years from somewhere around 500 marks to almost around 600 marks now. The qualifying marks for girls are always higher as they have lesser seats to compete as compared to the boys. Now let's look at the service liability. Candidates admitted to AFMC for MBBS course have a compulsory liability to serve as commissioned officers in the armed forces medical services. The liability of the short service commission officers would be seven years while the permanent commission officers will have to serve till the date of superannuation. At the time of admission, the candidates, parents or guardians are required to sign a bond agreement for 30 lakh rupees. What are the benefits of studying at AFMC Pune? Of course, in addition to this being a premier institute, there are some monetary benefits I'm going to list them down now here. The government provides several concessions, some of which I am listing here. There are much more than this. A subsidy of rupees 12,000 for purchase of books and equipment during the entire training period. Amount will be issued proportionately during first, second and third MBBS. Uniform allowance of rupees 6000 during first year and rupees 1250 per year as maintenance allowance in subsequent years. Hair cutting allowance of rupees 140 per month. Hostel accommodation and allied services. Stationary grant. Washing allowance. AC three tier railway ticket for journey during term vacation from college to home and home back to the college. For a complete and updated list of benefits available to cadets, please refer to the latest AFMC information brochure. What is the starting salary after completing your degree program? On successful completion of MBBS from AFMC, the medical cadets join the armed forces medical services as commissioned officers in one of the three services that is either army navy or air force the rank structure and the promotions along with initial monthly basic pay as per recommendations of seventh pay commission is shown here in addition to the basic pay shown here the officers will also get military service pay 
non practicing allowance dns allowance subsidized accommodation and allied facilities shall be provided officers are entitled to 60 days annual leave and 20 days casual leave in a year leave travel concession free medical services for self and family including dependent parents or some of the other benefits the officers will be getting to conclude we are here at the end of this video afmc is a prestigious institution and gives you an experience that no other medical college in india can offer i tried to cover as much important information as possible this information is mostly collected from the 2019 information brochure by afmc you should always refer to the latest information brochure as there could be some amendments or revisions in the subsequent years do you have any specific questions related to armed forces medical college if you do have please post your queries in the comments below and i will get back to you as quickly as possible i hope this video is helpful you can find more details about mbbs admission at my blog just get mbbs.in and just get mbbs.com you can also follow me at my twitter handle just get mbbs you can also find my facebook page and facebook group at the same id just get mbbs if you found the video useful please click the like button and i hope you will share this video to your friends who may also find this information very useful to receive notification regarding such videos in the future please subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon thank you very much see you soon in another video until then bye bye